Well, we've seen a huge difference using IBS in our district. I like that it's not as confrontational and that it's more solution oriented. It, it certainly shows unity and I think it shows a desire to, to work together, to work collaboratively. came to this as kind of a last resort. Um, we were having major conflict in our district between our association and the district administration over some budget cut decisions that were made, a very contentious election, and the trust level in our district was zero. And what happened at the end of last year is two groups of people that couldn't be in the same room with each other wound up coming to agreements on some contentious issues. There's some relationships that are built and there's trust that is built uh, amongst the team and it's not uh, a two-sided uh, debate or uh, a traditional bargaining style. It is one team trying to address interests that are common to everyone to come out with a win-win. I don't think anybody wins when the adults aren't working together for the kids. And each, I honestly believe that each side previously thought that their path was best for the kids and that this was necessary. But now when they sat in the room and everybody did put kids as number one and the intentions were made clear, I think the kids win. It's focused on students more. The things that we talk about, the things that we look at are generally based on students. Yeah, teachers as well, but if, if teachers are doing well, they're going to do better for their students. And it becomes less about individuals and more about a school district and more about a community and how to enhance what teachers do, what administrators do, what happens in schools, what happens at the district level. Well, I think the community now sees people that are solving problems instead of blaming each other for why the problems exist. I think it builds a better community. First of all, I think it builds trust within. And so that when those problems do come up, there's, there's an outlet and a process to work through them. It, it seems to be much more friendly. There's less uh, animosity. So now at least you have a place where I think community can see they're all working together, they're all talking. Whenever we've run into problems in our, in our IBS, it's been because we have tried to cut a corner in the process. And what we've found is we've had to go back and just go through the whole process, but the process really does work. Community confidence has grown and people feel it's, there's just a better, more positive attitude in the district. I think it's a good thing and I think the more folks that hear about what IB B is or IBS is and what it is not, the better off we'll be as a, as a community and as a state when it comes to uh, dealing with contractual or master agreement types of issues. But it's been an amazing process for our district and has really built trust and um, gotten us back on a good working relationship between employees, administration, and the school board. They extended the teacher contract till 2017, which is something that if you had asked me if that was even possible, I would have said no. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to know how IBS works, how IBB works, um, to, to bring it to your district in lieu of traditional bargaining. It's, it's the way to go.